Alright, Corky Boy here. And I've been trying to record this particular gameplay, it's been lagging out on that. But this one is Asylum. And I basically camp in this spot. I call it HLG. You might call it glitch, you might call it sad. I call it HLG, it's a great spot. So I'm gonna warn you now if you don't like campers and glitch spots. Well then don't have to watch the rest of this video, but give it a like anyway. And today's selection of music I'll be playing is Zombies music from Call of Duty World at War and Call of Duty Black Ops, Kino de Totten and Dereese. Dereese I'll be playing Can you guess? Da -da 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 Beauty of Annihilation and on Kino de Totten I'll be playing not Kino de I'll be playing the music from Kino de Totten. That is 115. 115 is basically the outro song of Dereese. It was fully introduced an Easter egg, Easter egg into Black Ops. I really like playing zombies, and my t my friend Tim is passionate about zombies, and so is my friend Jamie. But I can't get Black Ops too, so I'm just gonna play the music whilst I can. Now I get thirty, I think it's thirty three kills this this game. You might think, oh, that's rubbish. Oh, he's just camping. How can he only get thirty three kills? Well, I don't know if this happened to anyone else in Halo before, but Living Dead is three rounds. And I'm last man standing twice. I die once because I survived long enough. And for some reason, there's only just there's two rounds. I don't know why, but I don't know what happens. Like someone quit and it must have glitched out because I've, there's only two rounds. 33 kills in two rounds. So that's an average of 16.5 kills per round. Could you imagine what happened if I could got another round? Pretty cool, isn't it? All right, there's your first last man. I think I'll actually start playing the music now, so Cookie Boy out, enjoy and subscribe. This is a disadvantage at the spot. I, don't, I only kill one person here, but it's really hard to get out of. And I just basically run. And I'm like running. I know what's going to happen. One, two, three. Face palm. Now that's someone else who actually does it though. That's the thing. So it doesn't really matter because they got yoink. But yeah, so that was the first death. Are you first round? I'm the last man. Now I only get one death in this next round. So. Don't worry, it's okay, no need to thank me. I mean, I don't get the death in this round. But this this is the second round, as you can count. It goes one, two, and then three, right? And so here I am. But also, it kind of lags out because someone quits somewhere, so yeah. Also, another thing is, that's, oh yeah, apart from that alternative jump method, um, what I find is... With, this is a shout out to all you Halo Reach game players, especially on um, basically Halo game players. If you're playing Living Dead and you're Last Man Standing, the place where you were when you were Last Man Standing, so basically the the last place you were before you died or the place you were camping in, everyone goes to. I mean, you can see here two people in the bottom right corner trying to jump up. Fail. You see a couple of people trying to jump up. So it's, it's, I find that quite annoying. I mean, if you saw my Alpha Zombies kill pocket killionaire, sorry, on Countdown, I actually run away from all the people. I'm kind of a lone wolf player. I don't like playing when there's too many people because, like, you don't get enough kills and stuff. So, yeah. Yep, someone quits here, lags out as usual. However, in the actual game, when someone quits, there's normally a big black screen just saying, waiting, waiting, waiting. And it lasts about, you know what I mean, half a minute to a minute. But in theatre mode, it just skips it, you know? 
Another thing to realise is that people can actually run up on the cliff to my left, as you can see. People are just running up. People can run up that cliff and get you. But I, ha I rec recommend being on infe regular infection or being the alpha zombie. Otherwise, it's really hard to make it and stuff. There we go, someone jumping up, and they got killed. Nothing to notice is, because they're below me, their, their radar, it turn, they turn up on my radar as pale red, meaning they are below me, they are like on the plane below me, i.e. they're lower than me, height-wise. But then, oh, here we go, 115 for the win. Uh, see, there we go. If they're above you, it means, you can tell if they're above you, because it... The icon goes to a triangle. Now here, I am last man basically, and I'm basically running, retreating basically. As you remember, this is the second round as well. There's only 10 seconds left, so I've pretty much won. I've got one point for being last man, one point for survivor bonus. And here's the third round. But unfortunately, as you can see, it does kind of lag out. I'm going to stop the music here. It kind of lags out, you see. Turn up to the beach. Miracle happens, and... I win, and it's only into the second round. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. So, enjoy and subscribe. So, Cookie Boy out.